Today, we are here to be talking about a legend in the automotive world. If you are a fan of sports cars, you either love these or you're really not a fan of sports cars. And we have got a really special car that we're gonna be reviewing today. I'm gonna to be driving it and we're just gonna have a great time. So Chris, let's go ahead and zoom in on it. It looks a little small, doesn't it? Yeah. How, 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 am I gonna, how am I gonna fit into this? All right, let's just do this. You know, I don't, I don't wanna argue with you today, okay? So I'm just gonna get in the car and I'm gonna drive the car. Let me see. Crisante, I don't know if I'm gonna fit. Okay. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Okay. Can we get a real car? Yeah. All right, we'll be back. We're gonna go get a real car. Luckily, we found a car. I actually had one of these laying around in my garage. This is my 2012 991-911. And it is the base Carrera. And we're gonna take it for a spin today. Before we do, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the features of the car, okay? Let's first talk about the color. I love the color, okay? Blue is one of my favorite colors for car, for any car, and I think it actually looks great in blue. <clears throat> Interior is gray. I gotta be honest with you, at first when I looked at the car, and I bought this one used because I don't buy new cars since I'm not an idiot. Um, well, I am an idiot, but there are limits to my idiocy. But really, the gray actually has really grown on me. What I've noticed is it's really easy to keep the car clean, okay? Now, let's go ahead and first talk about the design of the car. And I'm of the opinion that Porsche has one designer who probably works part-time, sidles in around 10.30, 11 o'clock, makes some phone calls, talks some trash to the secretary, has his lunch, takes a nap, and goes home around 2.30. Because really, the design of the 911 has really not evolved that much over the years. It started out looking more or less like this, and it's continued to look like this for the past 70 or 60 years or so. Okay? Really, not a whole lot changes about the car, but actually, why screw with something that already looks so good? It used to be that I wasn't particularly enthralled with the look of a 911, but now I'm a really big fan of it. And at a time when cars have gotten really aggressive looking and angular and they all look like some kind of person's horrible geometry project gone wrong, what's really great about the 911 is that it continues to retain its classic look and has not gone to this really nasty, aggressive styling like absolutely everyone else has. Let's go ahead and take a look around the front, okay? It's still a low slung car, but if you look at it actually, it's not too low. I actually have driven this car before in the snow and haven't had too many problems. Chris, um, I'm gonna have some difficulty getting up here. Um, I've got arthritic knees and I'm fat, so I may need some help. I think I'm stuck. Hold on a second. Can we take a break? After I moseyed on down to the emergency room, I'm back. I won't be doing that again, but I'm back. <laughs> We've got 20-inch wheels right around here. And you would think with 20-inch wheels, you'd have a really harsh ride. I've talked before about how I really do not like large wheels, okay? Um, in some respects, they're necessary in order to accommodate larger brakes, but when you start getting above 18 inches, ride quality really suffers. Here we're at 20 inches, and you would think it would be a punishing ride. But I gotta hand it to the people over um, at, in Stuttgart. They have done a magnificent job, actually, with giving you a really supple ride. I mean, it's not a soft, luxurious ride. This isn't a Lexus, okay? Uh, but at the same time, you would think with 20 inch rims, it would be a lot more harsh than it really is, but it's not too bad. Um, and actually it swallows up bumps pretty well, while at the same time um, being very uh, sharp through cornering. It's really the best suspension system that I've ever had on any car. Uh, it is just about the perfect balance that you have uh, between something that is tight through corners, but at the same time, something that's not going to uh, send you over to the chiropractor when you go over to a few bumps. Let's go ahead and take a look at the engine. 
because this engine really is a sight to behold. All right, so uh, there it is. That's, uh, that's all you can see in the engine. Um, we've got uh, the uh, antifreeze right here, and we've got oil right here, and we've got this fan thingy right here, and we have absolutely nothing else. You want to access the engine? I have no idea how. I don't really, you know, I love cars. I don't really know anything about them. Um, apparently, you have to get this on a lift and access it from the bottom. But really, these days, Porsche is designing these cars, so you really can't access a whole lot. Okay, that's, that, that's it. It's quite a sight, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go for a little drive right now. Uh, before we do, I'd like to discuss my watch. So um, we've got a German car and we need a German watch, okay? So today I have got my uh, Glashuta Original uh, Panamatic uh, Manual Wine Watch. It's got a beautiful movement uh, right over there. I'll be doing a review on it later. And uh, got a beautiful dial as well. Um, I like winding this thing. It's got a really nice winding motion. And, uh, you know, this is uh, the car of, you know, the Porsche is notoriously known as the car of a douchebag. And so uh, I needed, you know, I'm a douchebag, okay? And I needed a, a watch to match uh, my douchebaggery. Okay. By the way, while we're on that subject, you know, there's some debate about how you pronounce uh, the name of the brand. Okay. Some people say it's Porsche, uh, like Borscht. Um, it, it, yeah, no. Okay. Um, other people say it's uh, Porsche, like Horsha? Morsha? Warsha? W w like what? Dorsha. Dorsha? Okay. Um, they're both wrong, actually. Are you ready to hear how it's pronounced? How's it pronounced? Porsche. You, you want to hear it again? Yeah. yeah. Porsche. So today we're going to take the Porsche 911 for a ride. And actually, you know, if you really want to, uh, you know, be accurate in terms of the way the name was uh, designed, okay, it should be Porsche, uh, Porsche with one of these. Porsche. All right. Um, what are you What are you doing, by the way? Sitting here, listening to you. Wh why are you sitting here? Where should I be sitting? Where am I going to put Peter, the Porsche driver? Should I sit in there? No, you need to go to the back. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh. You got to go in the back. He He needs room. Th there's no room back here. There's plenty of room. No. I need you in the back. I need you in the back. Oh, I need I, to be in the back. Yeah, I don't have enough. There's not, there's not enough room for okay. Peter. Right. Peter's a Russian. Do, do you want me behind you or behind me, behind the seat? Well, no, you can't get in this seat because that's sweet pea seat. Okay, then you have to move. Uh, no problem. I'll, I'll move up real okay. tight. Okay. No problem. We'll fit okay. you. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's give this a shot. You comfy, Peter? Oh, there's plenty of room back there. Oh yeah. You comfy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you may want to spread your legs apart a little more. Yeah. Okay. Now. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just told, I just told you to spread your legs apart a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you uh, can you put your seatbelt on? Possibly. You are comfy, right? Oh, yeah. It's extremely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not that I've comfy. I've never been in a more comfortable car. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to move back a little bit, okay? Is, okay. is that okay? Oh, yeah. Is that all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. Ab absolutely. Yeah, I'm comfortable. Yeah. What's important is I guess that, uh, the, this seat acts as a safety restraint system in this configuration. It, it looks to me like you've got plenty of room. So oh, look, yeah. Okay. Let's go for a ride. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a cyclist. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run him over. You know what? It's 46 degrees. Why is he bum bungled up or bundled up like Nanook of the North? You know, let me just move back just a little bit more, okay? okay. All right, okay, yeah. Okay, just a little bit, okay, all right. Well, I, I'm comfortable, um, which is really what's important here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, you're comfortable, right? Oh, yeah, extremely. Yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a great, you know, nice, leisurely ride. Let me just move back just a little bit more. There's not enough room, move your legs, okay? I'm not comfortable. Okay. 
All right. You know what? We need to pick up a couple of more people, actually, because I think we can easily fit at least another two people in here. Uh, I think we can do four more people. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're going to... You're going to murder me one day for doing this to you, right? Probably. All right. Let's go ahead and pull over. I'll, uh, let me reconsider this decision. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Peter? You listening, buddy? Hold on, let me talk to Peter. Peter, I gotta put you in the back. Apparently, Chris isn't comfortable. All right, let's go. Ridiculous. Plenty of room back there. Oh yeah. generation really has no tolerance whatsoever for even minor discomfort all right let's go ahead and uh, put our coordinates in you okay mm -hmm. you're breathing heavily you're all right yeah I'm fine all right let's talk about some of the features of the Porsche I actually was looking for a base 911. The only other car that I really considered was the 911 uh, S. And here's why. This car really is not going to be the fastest 911, but it's going to have a tremendous amount of usable power. The 911 range is all over the place. When you start with the base, and this, this is a 2012, which was the first year of the 991, actually. In fact, there was... Um, 2012 was an interesting year for Porsche because that was the end of the 997, but at the same time the 991 came in. So you could have a 2012 that was the previous generation, which was the 997. You also could have a 2012 that is um, the 991 generation, which is what I have. The base Carrera, um, it starts at 345 horsepower in a car that weighs roughly 3,200 pounds. This car is not going to win drag races, but that's not really what it's about. This car is all about usable power. Now with that 345 horsepower um, in a 3,200 pound car, at sea level, that car will do zero to 60 in about 4.4 seconds, especially because the car is naturally aspirated, uh, no turbo, no supercharger, um, you're going to have some power loss at elevation. Of course, the higher you go, the more power loss you're going to have. So my guess is that this car is probably in the 4.8, 4.9, maybe even 5 second range. And everyone starts thinking right away, oh my God, it's a slow car. It's not about that, okay? It's really about how much power you can actually use. And with this car, I can use it. Right now, for example, I'm doing about 70 miles an hour. I'm going to go faster and um, let me go ahead and drop it into what I need. A nice rev match. And the car gives you as much power as you want. And really, the other thing about the car is that it is very easy to maintain control of. You never feel like you're going to lose the car because it's not an overpowered car. So again, this is why I only considered either the Carrera or the Carrera S, which is about an extra 50 horsepower. Here's the other thing too, on all of the Porsche turbos right now, they do not come with a manual. You only get their PDK transmission, which is a glorious transmission if you want a PDK, but I have no interest. Frankly, if I'm going to drive a Porsche, then I will only drive one with a manual. To me, a Porsche is a manual. Let's talk about the gearbox actually, and I will tell you that overall the gearbox actually is quite good. It is still mechanical. I think Porsche, excuse me, Porsche, uh, by design um, actually made this a, a very mechanical uh, gearbox. It's easy to rev match on this car as well. The clutch is easy to engage. Let's talk about one thing about the gearbox I don't like, and that is the fact that it has seven gears. They're doing it for fuel efficiency, which on this car is really amazing because I'm getting about uh, 25 to 27 miles a gallon. But at the same time, you know, you get into sixth and seventh gear, there's just not a lot of power that it's giving you at that point. All right, now we're in the canyons. Yeah. Let's have some fun, okay? There is so little body roll in this car. 
I'm not the world's best driver and it's actually so easy for me to drive this car at speed. And then that second gear, this is where the gearing is really good. You know, I've got power across a really wide range uh, in second gear. And here's where the naturally aspirated engine is good too. You know, you're not just going to instant massive amounts of torque right away. You're in a really predictable power range. The engine here is an absolute peach, okay? And the car is grippy too. Even with the fact that I'm running right now 275s in the back instead of 295s, it's 38 degrees up in this canyon, so it's pretty cold. <clears throat> I've still got plenty of grip. And really, I'm not using my brakes. Okay, I gotta use my brakes over here. Brakes are excellent, by the way, okay? But at the same time, I can go through all these canyons with my, right near, I'm not, oh, just a little bit of brake right there, okay? And a little bit of brake right there. Okay, here, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that wasn't too smart. Okay, I tried to prove a point there. Maybe that wasn't good. I should have used brakes. Now, let me explain the traditional understanding of how to drive a 911, okay? The typical understanding was that you would have to brake early into a corner, like you are here, for example, okay, and then come out hard. Now, that was true of every Porsche before, uh, I'm sorry, Porsche. 911 because um, the engine's in the back, the weight is in the back, okay? And the dynamics of the car were very unique. That's simply the way that 911s were. Uh, it was definitely true of the you know most recent 911s, the 993, uh, the 996, the 997. That is not as true of the 991. In fact, some people have been very critical of it because they say, well, the suspension set setup right now actually is just so good in the car that Porsche, Porsche has lost its unique driving dynamics of putting that engine in the back. Now, I don't think so, okay? This is still a really fun car. And you know what? The purists, who cares? I'm really tired of hearing about them anyway. Uh, they can all go to hell, uh, which is the same place. But all of the people who, de who designed the new Corvette, that's where they're going because there's no manual and I want you to die. All right, let's get into the fun part now. All right. So, here we go. Okay, just a little bit of brakes, come out hard. I'm not riding my brakes at all over here. There's gravel over here. It's 35 degrees. I'm on 275 all seasons. Right now, instead of 295 summer tires. But at the same time, I've got plenty of grip. And by the way, I've been living in second gear now uh, for the past several miles. Crisante, you notice how little body rolls in this oh, car? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And this is, you know, we're not talking about like an S2000 here that weighs 2,800 pounds or a Mazda Miata. This is still a heavier car. The good thing about it is, too, this is such an enjoyable car, even when you're not driving it at its limits. Some cars, you know, you have to drive them at their limits to really enjoy them. This isn't like that. Okay, and you can see there's snow out here, too. I never, ever feel like I'm going to lose the car. That's the thing about the Porsche 911. It's just such a composed vehicle. And it is meant to be a vehicle that is in really the most complimentary sense, all things to all people. Anybody can drive uh, this car. What a terrific car. You're brilliant. Really. Do you turn right here? Okay. Nice of you out here, isn't it? Again, as usual, Crisante, with outstanding commentary. Just sterling. All right, let's go back. There's our acceleration run. Boy, I'll tell you what. Crisante, this car is not slow, is it? No. No. We're at elevation here. We're probably about, what, 7,000 feet right now. Naturally aspirated engine, this car is not slow. And this is the base Carrera. It's just a user-friendly car without at the same time being a numb car. And that balance these days in cars is very hard to get. Some cars these days are so user-friendly, they have so many nannies on them, that any idiot can drive them at 100, 110, 120 miles an hour. Oh, man. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Just going a little, uh, a little queasy. It's a little worse in the driver's seat, I know. 
important thing, Prasante. Don't look at the road right in front of you. Look kind of into the distance. Into the distance? Okay. Yes. Okay. Like, don't look at this curve right now. Okay? Look at that curve up there. Ooh, I'm a little crazy too. <laughs> There's not much body roll, but still, you know, we we drove this, I think, much faster than the M3. Oh, much. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Actually, some of that motion sickness right now. Uh. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> You're right back there, buddy! Oh, he fell off the seat. Oh, my God. Oh, Peter, we killed Peter. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay, everyone. Right. He's all right. All right. Nice. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. If I puke, I'm going to puke. Okay. That's going to make me as well. Okay. Don't puke on me. Okay. Don't puke on me. No, you puke on me, I'm going to puke on you. Oh, you know what? Open up the uh, open up the glove box. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? I've got these uh, motion sickness glasses. And not only are they effective, actually, but they're stylish. saying there's a there for that act yeah there's a term of art oh there is yeah it's called it, it, it's, it's called a roman shower i've never heard that before it's called a roman shower a roman shower i gotta tell you this is uh i don't see this much but this is one of the rare times in my life where i don't want to eat like anything For me, um, you, I will be like a broken record on this for, because for me, the most important factor uh, that I have when I'm um, driving a car or when I'm looking to buy a car is daily usability. Okay, and that includes a lot of things. I don't really care about fuel efficiency. I mean, because look, it's not gonna happen. Okay, um, but that means the car has to be reasonably reliable, have decent running costs, uh, be reasonably comfortable. Okay, um, and. To me, the 911 is extremely useful, okay? As you can see, I take my kids to school in this car, okay? Um, and they think it's great, okay? Um, I drive this car to work every day. I don't worry about it breaking down. Now granted, I've only had the car for 8,000 miles, but I've had zero problems with it. Um, the car currently has 38,000 miles on it, and you know, um, I've seen the service records on it, it's been reliable. Uh, you know, the 911 is known to be actually a pretty reliable vehicle. Yes, the running costs are going to be higher. You want to pay, you're going to have to play. Or you want to play, you're going to have to pay. But at the same time, um, the car is under warranty, and I would recommend a warranty for any German car or any European car, period. Uh, even though the 911 is purported to have really good uh, build quality. Uh, but you know, it's a comfortable car, visibility is excellent, 
easily a car that you can drive every day. And actually, um, when I'm stuck in traffic, which in the Denver area happens all the time, it's really not that big a deal, actually. You're not fighting the clutch all the time because it's such an easy gearbox and clutch to use. Um, so I drive this car a lot. Uh, in fact, lately, I've been driving this car more than any of my other cars uh, because it's just a really easy car to live with on a daily basis. Anything else? I can't think of anything else really.